Things you will learn when you get to calculus too. Definite integrals. Okay, let's try to integrate this. The hard part is the limit of integration. You're integrating from zero to four. So to do this, we say let u be this thing. So let u be that thing. So differentiate both sides. So du equals this. Differentiate the whole thing here. That would be 2x and then dx. So we want to get dx on its own. So, um, so divide both sides by 2x. That will then give you this. So now we can put this into here. So this whole thing here becomes, well, the x stays the same. That square root, the bubble, is u. And then you've got, um, when you put this whole thing in here, 1 over 2x is this thing, du. So this whole thing here becomes this. We still need to work out the limit of integration. So in the d dx world, in the dx world, we are integrating from 0 to 4. We need to figure out um, what we need to integrate uh, from where to where in the du world. So to do this, we need to figure out the limit of integration. dx, we are integrating from 0 to 4. So you put 0 into the x, 0 squared plus 9 would be 9. So in the du world, we are integrating from 9 to, now put the 4 into the x and then square it, 16 plus 9, that would be 25. So in the dx world, we're integrating from 0 to 4. In the du world, we are integrating from 9 to 25. So this thing here would be 9 to 25. So the x stays the same. The square root, remember the u, the bubble is the u, so you put it into here. And then now tidy this thing up. This x gets multiplied to the top. The two x's cancel each other out, giving you a half. That's this half here. The square root stays the same. Du stays the same. This is a constant, so take it out. That will then give you this. And uh, imagine the square root as being to the power of a half. So now it becomes a lot cleaner. So now integrate this. Remember, when you integrate this, it's always one notch higher. So uh, so that would be u to the power of 3 over 2. And then you've got to stick this constant in, in here. So now notice that this is a constant, so drag it out. So that will then become this. So when you drag this out, merge the two fractions together, it will give you this. So now put the 25 into here. That will give you this. Remember, I'm, I'm visualizing to the power of 3 over 2 as being to the power of a half, and then you cube it. So put 25 into here. That will then give you this. Take away, and then put the 9 into here. That will then give you this. This whole thing here, where square root of 25 is, um, is 5. Cube it, it will then give you this. 9 square root of 9 is 3. Cube it, it will then give you this. Your final answer is this. You can work the rest out for yourself, okay?